Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So you've got the ordinariness. So you're dealing with just everyday mundane things, you know, getting on with just getting through life, really. Um, you're focusing on your work. Uh, you might be doing a little bit of study as well with work, but you're just getting on with daily life, really. And you're reaching a new kind of understanding over here. Uh, you know, you've got your freedom and um, you're also thinking about things on a very, very deep level as well and coming to new conclusions about things as well. So you might be involved in some study, like I said, with this ordinariness, and, you know, a lot of insights are coming to light. You might be socializing quite a bit. There's a lot of communication going on between you and the outside world. So you are speaking to a lot of people, and you are you do have a lot of friends, and, you know, a lot of insights coming to you um, uh, due to meeting all these people. You've got the burden card over here, which is the Six of Swords, which is showing that, you know, there might be somebody around you that's giving you advice, showing you the way, and helping you get out of a difficult mindset or a difficult situation that you've been through. So, uh, you know, you are moving away from all your problems that you've been facing or all that, um, you know, after coming through a very, very difficult uh, relationship or a heartbreak kind of situation, you're now mo moving away from it and you're letting go of things from the past and, you know, making plans for the future, really. Now, in the past, you've got going in the flow. So this is a new emotional cycle starting for you. This is the Ace of Cups. And, you know, you're letting things happen uh, uh, as they should. You're not really interfering or you're not trying to make things come your way. Um, you're accepting uh, what had happened and you're moving on. You've got the miser card over here. Uh, this is, you know, trying to protect yourself, trying to protect your assets, trying to pre protect your heart, really. Uh, you know, not letting anybody get too close and, you know, concentrating on trying to build firm, strong foundations for yourself over here. So, uh, you know, you are, um, you are establishing yourself and you're trying to make sure that, you know, you have growth that comes with it. Um, you know, and this is also, you know, somebody who's watching their finances and worried about their work. You know, you're, you're more focused on your career right now. This is what you want to protect your independence and you want to protect your assets or your, your finances right now. Now, going into the future, you've got the sorrow card over here. So this is the nine of uh, swords, and this is worrying too much and having too much of anxiety about things that you can't control. So, you know, it might be that you're overthinking things a lot, especially when you're alone by, you know, by yourself. Uh, you know, maybe um, you, you start thinking about the past because this man is facing towards the past, and you're crying about it or expecting the worst case scenario, maybe saying, you know, this is never going to happen or that is never going to happen. So you are spending too much of time in your head, and you need to actually stop being stressed and anxious about things that you have no control over or you know you have to let things happen you started off you know making that choice about you know going with the flow but you're still very anxious about what has happened or you know and maybe you're not even sleeping well at night uh, because of uh, worry uh, you know about things uh, that had happened in the past or worry that things are going to go wrong again You've got the conditioning cards over here. So this is, um, you know, almost like the devil card over here. So there's a lot of negativity that you're dealing with at the moment. Um, and you're, uh, you know, you're dwelling too much about, uh, you're dwelling too much on the past and all the negative things that happened to you. Uh, you know, you might be worried also that people are, you know, appear to be friendly or your friends and they are not. So this is like a lion in, in sheep's clothing. So you're worried that, you know, the people that are around you are not, are not people that are supportive or are not faithful people or are not honest people. And, you know, this is making you feel very negative and this is why you're feeling very anxious and very, uh, you know, you're crying about things or you're, um, you're not sleeping very well. So uh, those are the energies for that week. You are letting go slowly. You are reaching some kind of understanding, but you need to get out of your head and stop being so anxious about things. Uh, you know, relax. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, the future is not um, made yet. We are the ones that change the future. So things, um, you know, are not going to um, get out of hand unless you let them get out of hand. And if you worry about things, it's not going to change the future. Um, so, you know, try not to worry about things. It just makes you, it just stresses you out and gives you ulcers, <laughs> really. So try not to worry so much. Um, and, you know, try and get rid of that negativity. Uh, start focusing on positive things. And say positive affirmations to get yourself out of that negative feeling. Maybe get a new hobby or focus on something different. And that always lifts one's spirit. And, uh, you know, it brings in positive energy as well. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Art Nouveau Tarot. 
I have shuffled this deck. So you've got the King of Cups over here um, at the bottom of the deck. So this might be you seeking some kind of counseling or some kind of uh, support from somebody who is very emotionally supportive. Now, this could indicate that you are seeking some kind of medical um, input uh, or some kind of medical consultation. Maybe you're going to a doctor. Maybe you're undergoing some kind of um, you know, stress-related illness. Or this could be somebody around you that is giving you that kind of support or help that you need, uh, like a father figure. Um, because this person is, they're probably older than you and they are very supportive and they're, uh, you know, they're keeping you in balance. So they are giving you some advice. You are either going to be seeking this advice or you are, um, or seeking the support from this person or, um, you are, have already sorted. So this person is around you to give you that help and advice and support that you need. So what's happening with you? You've got the high priestess over here crossed by the chariot. So the high priestess is about... Um, you know, spending a lot of time by yourself, waiting for things to happen, not getting involved really, maybe spending a lot of time studying um, and also, um, you know, uh, following a lot of your intuition. So, you know, the high priestess tends to keep to herself. She doesn't say a lot of things. Um, so, you know, um, you are trying to, um, you know, find that higher purpose for yourself, but you're also keeping a lot uh, you know, to yourself and, uh, you know, not getting involved with people, not really being very proactive as far as going in, out there and finding a relationship. You've got the chariot card over here, so you might be thinking of, um, you know, travel. Uh, you might be thinking of moving home. Now, the chariot card is about, you know, relocating. Uh, also, it's a card about taking a control of, of that situation you are in and achieving success. So, you know, whatever study you're doing is probably going to be uh, lead to a lot of uh, financial success or success in your career. And maybe this is what you are, uh, you know, this is your goal right now. You're not focused on a relationship in particular. It seems like, you know, you want uh, to achieve success and you're very determined to do that. So in the past, uh, you, it seems like you've been through some kind of heartbreak over here. You've got the Three of Swords. So, you know, you're getting over that. You, it was a very, very difficult situation that you went through. And it left you feeling very, very um, vulnerable. And also felt, uh, left you feeling very, very alone and very, very isolated. But something brand new came in in the last three months. Some kind of new idea. Some kind of new um, thought process. Uh, you know, you, you're now taking control, taking charge, and you're seeing things, with, um, you know, clearer, uh, much clearer than you did before. So you're having a lot of insights and, you know, you've need, reached a new emotional stance, uh, you know, a new emotional position. And, you know, you are speaking your truth now. So you've taken control, taken charge, and, you know, you are feeling uh, a lot more fiery, a lot more energetic. Now, you've got the tower on your mind. So you are still, uh, you know, whatever happened in that relationship that caused heartbreak has still has its effects. There was a lot of loss and a lot of problems and a lot of betrayal and a lot of arguments. Uh, you know, you may have had to leave that situation behind. So it's still playing on your mind quite a bit. You are still, um, you know, still anxious about it. There might have been some kind of legal situation that went down uh, with this, uh, whatever this event was, this breakup was, and, you know, you might still be waiting for some kind of legal news to come in with this Knight of Swords. Uh, so you could have been dealing with somebody, uh, and there might have been a legal battle uh, with that person. And this card is, you know, with this Knight of Swords, it's about victory. So you are uh, going to be victorious. If you're waiting for a legal um, decision to be made, it looks like there's victory on your side over here. And it also looks like you're taking control of that situation as well. Um, now, with this uh, Knight of Swords, you could have been dealing with an air sign person. So that could be Libra, uh, Aquarius, or um, Gemini person. And maybe they were very, very aggressive uh, and, you know, very, very nasty kind of person. So this Knight of Swords is a very nasty energy, manipulative, nasty, you know, they, they, they're a bit of a bully as well. So this could have been the person that you were dealing with, and there might have been a legal ending to that relationship because of that. Now, with this Ace of Swords over here, it looks like, you know, whatever that legal news is that you're going to get, you are victorious. You're the one that wins in the end. So, um, you know, it looks like whatever that outcome is of that case, if you're dealing with some kind of uh, legal issue, it's going to be in your favor.
and you're going to be starting all over again. So you've got the full card in your position over here. So this is new beginnings, uh, taking that leap of faith, going your own way and doing it by yourself, uh, not allowing anybody to give you any advice. You're doing things for yourself and you're doing it by yourself and you are very enthusiastic. This also might indicate that you might be doing some travel as well. You've got the moon card over here. So, uh, you know, watch out for people around you who are hidden enemies because this is in the position of what's going on around you. So watch out for people that are hiding things from you. Uh, not a lot of uh, truth being revealed and, uh, you know, people lying or, you know, pretending to be friendly with you. So just uh, be aware of whom you trust uh, in people that you deal with around you. So you've got the king of coins over here. Your aim is to achieve, uh, you know, financial uh, status and you want to, you know, you're focused on your job, you want to achieve some kind of leadership position over here, you want to be on the top of your profession and you want to make some good money as well. So you're hoping for some money to come in as well. So going into the future, you've got that four of cups over here, uh, the queen of coins and, uh, you know, the anything can happen card. So that relationship seems to have broken up. You may have had a family with this person. It, it broke up because, uh, you know, you and this person were going your separate ways. You all had different goals in life. Um, and, you, you know, you all seem to have lost interest. The, the, whatever that relationship was, uh, you know, um, you all didn't emotionally fulfill each other's needs. Now, with the Four of Cups, it also talks about, you know, a new offer coming in as far as, uh, you know, a new emotional cup coming in for you. So that relationship fell away because it was no longer serving you and it was no longer satisfying you. And with the Four of Cups, it looks like there might be a new offer coming in for you on the emotional front. So somebody bringing in some kind of new offer. Now, you've got the Queen of Coins over here. There's also a, uh, you know, um, you could be getting some kind of promotion as far as your work goes, but in also you're very, very emotionally, very, very financially independent. So you might, um, you know, be working in a position of authority, uh, managing people, managing financial resources, uh, you know, some kind of a management position over there. And you're very financially independent as well. And it looks like there's a new offer that might be coming in for you. And then you've got the anything can happen card, which means that, you know, whatever happens after this offer comes in, uh, it's all up to you. <coughs> you are the one that's going to be able to change things and you're going to be able to make things go your in your favor if you want it to. So it's all going to be, um, you know, the ball's in your court, really. Whatever happens, it's not up to fate. Uh, it's up to you. So if you decide that you want to pursue a new relationship, uh, that looks like it's going to come in. You're going to be able to manifest it as well. So you've got the Queen of Ariel over here, which says, nurture yourself and those you love, the ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. So with this Queen of Ariel, which is the Queen of Pentacles, that is you um, you know, achieving your goals and maybe a promotion and new money coming in for you. And you're going to be very, very work-focused as well. You've got the Three of Ariel over here. You can see very, very work focuses the three of pentacles which says do what you love a time for great personal growth in your career and just artistic endeavors and working with others in a com competitive or cooperative manner sorry so it looks like uh, you might not even pursue a new relationship. It looks like you're going to be focusing more on your career right now. But then you've got the Leap of Faith card, which says, believe in yourself, listen to your heart, and do what gives you joy. So it looks like that work focus is going to be the thing that uh, you know, you're going to be focusing on for a little bit uh, longer uh, before you decide you want to move forward in life uh, because uh, you know, this is what uh, you, you know, you're trying to establish yourself trying to make sure that you know you are uh you know you get ahead as far as your career goes so it seems like even though an offer comes in maybe you're not going to be that interested in it because with the four of cups it's usually offers that you really don't show you know you're not something somebody that's too keen on that particular offer even though it comes in it looks like you're changing your focus to your work and your career at this particular moment and it looks like that's going to be going on for a little while but you're going to make a lot of inroads and it looks like you're going to be quite successful in that career pathway. You are starting something brand new as far as that career goes. And it seems like that's the thing that's going to be giving you joy and happiness right now. There might even be a home move uh, to do this job that you're doing somewhere else. And you are focused on study right now. So there's two full cards starting something brand new as far as your career goes. And that seems to be where your focus is going to be lying uh, in the, in the next few months. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has resonated. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.